crown a champ over the course of these next five maps. Let's get into it. We do have three players from NIP starting through that underpass, and Dota already looking to confirm an absence. There is res to Corral. Already bloodshed elsewhere. That was Hampus towards the B side of the map. You can see his X there indicated over on that special mini map. Hades is committed to this. I don't fancy his chances. He just wants one. Take one with you. You're being hunted, trying to stabilize the crosshair. It's not to be. Doto lingers. The P2K, mind you. Okay, Doto. Why is this clearing? Look. Will he consider it? He's going to have to be pretty wide on this. Oh, long range clock. Doto gets a chance, but it's solved. Re Reaggressing. What? Snappy wants answers here, Chad. Yeah, we've seen answers a now. lot of this, haven't we? Yeah, and it's been working wonders for them. Bit of a timer on this device. If he slinks out of the bathrooms, which he has, Snappy might not be able to catch him here. Okay, problems now. So, Spinks, good luck, mate. The door will swing open from device, but it's Monster he has to grow in concern for. Deha responsible for that only just. He's not in a position to really actively contest Ooh, jump this. spotting it. Yeah. And there's a, there's a kit on this. It's not going to be an easy retake by any means, but every time I feel it's like I Sonic, say though. that... And find a way to turn it on. Spinks does need a second. He needs to double up. The bomb carrier charging. That was brave from LNZ. And he continues to stand his ground. A, ha a handleable situation for Deha. They don't know where he is. Unchecked as of yet. Throwing the bomb across and spotted out now. Smoke's fading. Oh, the shadow. He knows what's going on. Trying to play games. They're looking to clear him out. Oh, played. He played it to perfection. And Deha isolates. He's gone, and oh, that is oh. lovely. What a recovery. They can king to me, House Slavinsky. You have to work as a team here, guys. Oh, and this is it. They just don't want to take the foot off the throat. Throwing in initial aggression. Device made to clear this, and he's punished for it. That was one of the AKs, and Rez is the other. Greedy boy, gonna get spanked. Hades delivers, and it's not all good yet. Linus makes it competitive. Those AKs cannot be recovered, at least not from the CTs. But uh, a couple of important scalps found and some aggression right out of the gate. And they don't stop, Chad. Yeah, they're playing for info right here. So if they can clear out Hampus is over in this water position, it looks like all three of them could be bearing down on him very, very shortly. Dota's about to creep through and Spinks could fly open the door. Looking away at the wrong time. Hampus does strike, but that door swings open. Spinks now, his position noted. And it is an open one runway towards this A site right now. Deha and Spinks left in a 2-1-2. Well, wow, he's got to use his own best judgment there, because, of course, he goes down there sprinting straight back to B. He's got to time this to perfection. He doesn't have any confirmation as to where they are encroaching from. This makes sense from Deha, right? Because if he pushes his head up now, he doesn't know exactly where the T's are. So they're waiting for the plan to the bomb here before they're going to rotate in. Now, the fact that Sphinx has left connector may be worried about their hunting him. Now, they're not. They're going to confirm that it won't be the B bomb site. It should be planted in A any moment. But the question for NIP is going to be, is it going to be a bank side plant? Are they going to plant safe? Or are they going to try and plant for the open? So it will be open. This is going to give them the post-plant scenario from the bathrooms. But here they come. Backup connector. Sphinx is making this more difficult. Whoa, lovely control. LNZ delivers. D has uh, no, no stranger to a clutch. In fact, a 1v2 to put that first on the board. Will he clear? Yes, but Plopsky's better be very very handy for nip heading in towards that major but here we have ants bouncing back on the force by their own now hades he's kept a little bit of extra cash and you're probably asking why well he wants to get that orp out when the gun rounds do follow but this b aggression once more and it's going to be called clear towards the backyard a they need to be on high alert right now that's going to allow the rotation of d to come on over snappy he's near that squeaky door now if he swings that one open there's two t's on the other side of that plopsky and lnc Bomb is going to be scooped up from Device right now, who's had to go back to grab that. But they're continuing this walk, and actually with quite the pace, because there's a minute 10 on the clock still, and they've already worked all the way up long. Bathrooms is the next on the docket, and Rez is starting to work on that territory now. Yeah, and these Deagle Kev buys, they are all still very threatening, but I'd say they've had their claws clipped just a little. The body shot, shotgun style Deagling has been up to three. So aiming for the head, Hades misses the mark and just a chunk taken out of Rez. You may see some evidence of what I'm talking about as well as you see any players cut down to that 2-5 HP mark. Oh, Fampus knows his angles. Clears out Snappy and it will be NIP that will leave with the lion's share of the opening four. Yeah, I might just want to try and hold on to this. Yep. Nothing much more intimidating than just hearing all those AKs directly above you, knowing that there is a potential hunt. And actually, yeah, 
LNZ is going around the world to make sure he can really twist this knife, make sure he leaves with nothing. This is interesting, though, that they're trying to deny everything, right? Normally, you just see teams playing very safe here, but NIP with a clear plan of attack. Deha noted now, and here he is, LNZ, out the monster pipe, and away you go. Just getting enough reps in, right? So LAN has been a void for everybody. It's not like some have had more opportunities than others. There's just been a slim amount. Now, obviously for this EU RMR, this is the only one that has been played on LAN. Uh, so it's great for these guys right here, especially the newer names, Hades, Deha, Sphinx, Dota, uh, and then on the other side, you likes of LNZ, right? To be getting in some LAN prep and prac. But they're used to a boot camp environment where we've seen both of these teams in their facilities throughout the online era, which means that they're comfortable in an environment with each other. They are in what we call uh, land light at the moment. Lenzi pushed. A little spray for two. They will almost get their hands on it. Ooh. Brave to be peeking back into that AK. Plopsky does hold his nerve. And now holding the line, Hades gives it everything he could. And th usually for the group stage of majors, we don't have a crowd. That isn't something that you've had in too many opportunities before. And Hades lucky to peer away from that one as Nice has the big green out on the other side. Sphinx naded, Doto low. They are coming and Plopsky's hit a big one right there. NIP starting hot today. Standard U tilt. Oh, actually, that's a bit of a deeper smoke right there from Device, right? So it's actually smoked off the visibility from the lower side of the bathroom. So he can actually peer on in and take a fight to the upper deck. Hades thrust forward into the AWP device and does draw one back. Tia went for a bit of a hit on Mary on that info play on B. Oh, and in the rotation, Doto dunked. NIP looking like a very, very big threat. The site is lost, Snappy forced to save. Hades obviously equipped with that AWP, the only kill they've actually posted. He might take a pot shot or two. Would love to deny the plant and cause chaos if he could. Going down now, uh, I think once it gets planted, he should yeah. just be getting away from this, right? That damage done, 43. A stray bullet may be enough to take him on down. So he's going to back on off. And, well, they're starting to hunt again here. NIP, you mentioned turning the knife. I don't think they want to allow Ents to breathe. So Hampus is searching. Hades should hit this. He's waiting for a teammate here. So the tradeability on the chase. Yeah. Oh, the gun baits Hampers looking the wrong way. Rez not going to make the same mistake, and confirmation the hunt is on. Double orbs right now. This is actually a big carry through. Big carry through. Oh, and a leg shot into Rez living on 10 HP. That's surely enough to pull the plug. Yeah, yeah. they're thinking better of that. At least they've been able to understand what's been picked up, right? So it can be deadly, especially if they just find an opening that's not tradable. Heading towards B, you're going to see the molly thrown on out over towards that sandbag position, stifling any early control. And Hades on the run boost will get him across, and he can peek from the right Whoa. side. Hades, the bomb has been dropped. <laughs> and Device was posted up to guard him from peaks like that. The run boost is going to bail them out. A smoke for good measure, and Hampus's hunt cut short by the Deeg. D has sticking around on the sandbags, trying to catch a nice little off angle here. And into the angle, he does eliminate Rez. Okay, okay. Hades and Snappy with saved orbs, and now only one remains. He's gone too. Sorry, I'm gone blind, guys. We're looking for Snappy. Almost quite We're literally. Looking at he dropped it across to Sphinx. Yes. <laughs> well, one S to the other. But here we go. They are heading towards this B site, and you can understand this, right? You can have a lot of flashes, the mollies, the smokes. They will deal with the line of sight to the AWP. Yeah, basically saying they're not going to pull off that again is NIP's statement. Let's see if they can prove it. Let's see if this is the call to have been made. Heard that. Yeah. Spotted out, big fragging from the Swedes. It's only the one out of Deha. They keep him humble. Wasn't even the double ops they had to deal with. The rifles are gone now. Now the double ops have to retake. Best of luck. It is a nice save. <laughs> it could lead to this kind of constant cycle where NIP know what you're saving and keep throwing pace into the mix. I don't know if Ents have got another counter to that. The thing is, it's going to deter NIP from going towards A because we know how many different positions towards that A bomb site are possible to pick with the orbs. So. Uh, at least Ents could hedge that it is going to be the B plays or maybe a little bit more through Connector where they can close down those fights. But yeah, it will be the save again. NIP up to five here on the T half and things are going smooth right now. Saw Snappy at lunch. Oh yeah, you did? I said hello, gave him, you know, all of the kind words about just how incredibly I said. Quite, in fact, no, I said, there he, oh, there he is. It's the, it's the Mega Brain. The Mega Brain. The Mega Brain. And he said, that's not me. And I said, what? He said, it's the coach. 
Oh, so was the Mega Brain. So getting used to in ears as well with headphones over the top is something I, you know, you, you probably need to put a bit of weight in. I think some players I saw actually just starting to condition themselves for that in the online stage. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Why wouldn't you? Oh my God, that was a hail He's Mary. He's on the board. He's on the board. Snappy Flash and Toto did not hesitate to try and pursue an opener. It's floating at an even keel. Makes sense to be heading back towards B, right? We know about these orbs. We know about them. We've spoken about them a lot here. One of them is still over towards A. Sphinx is over towards this B side of things. And Device, well, he's not really in the picture right now. He's containing things, but this is where the fight will go down. And there's a very good reason why we are going to be seeing just half of Overpass being played out right now is because I'll let you uh, think about just how many places two orbs could be defending that side of the map from. Long, toilets, good luck, underpass. Sphinx is connected on the monster pipe. He might go around the world, you know. With a full 50 seconds still to play with and Device trying to take space. So those questions about where are the Orpers holding from will be answered by Device. And he's gone very wide on this, already walking up the banana and considering his options. Plopski to join in through Fountain. And that is just what Device was waiting for. A flash off for Hades. Got to be careful not to overextend. We'll tuck in. He reveals the Orp tucked on sight. Process of elimin elimination dictates. He can close this gap. Util dropped. Looking great from NIP, but time could become a factor. Another miss now. Yeah. And the bomb's coming in. Wide from Plopsky in the blind spot. Strikes again. It's Spinks still keeping Ents in this. Both confirmed. Spinks three on the secondary. And N Maybe a big contributing factor in this is here we go again. This time it is just going to be the 5 AK 47s. No alt for device. Warning shot from Hades here as he's pushed on back by the Util and the bullets. Snappy with a nice little nade right there, and you can see exactly what that one's for. You time that one well, you get players coming through the pipe into towards the sewer position. Now there's a plethora of different ways you can gather information, but this flash from Doto, it's over, and they're going forward. Yeah, they actually ate it. Holding their nerve, holding their ground. They're going to peek in. Oh, gosh. NIP. They'll take a two for one. Buy one, get one free. It's very short-lived. Doto being swung upon. It's a lot of damage. LNZ vulnerable to nade spray. No one in a position to do so. Doesn't opt for the wall bang as device. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Should have Sphinx. His number here, and he does. The nade onto Linus is late. Bomb ticking, and Hades. It's a tall order with an AWP. Device will strike on contact. He'll swing through that smoke. He's got to find both of the. <laughs> it's not to be. So the CIS and all that jazz. Still the best of your peers, I guess we could put it, as now Device will be back you don't into forget, You don't get here without having a very high competitive drive. Oh, that's just two for Hampus. So continuing to try the push over towards Monster. He might even get the third. Sphinx eventually gets something back, and Hades does on the other side of the map. So we find ourselves in a quick 3v3 at a minute 30. Hades stuck by the light pole, and Device, he needs to finish this one off before he gets away, and he will. Woof. Okay. Well, thank you, Device. If you're in the ninjas, it felt like that advantage kind of just evaporated rapidly. I think it might have to be a gamble scenario here, friends. We already saw them try and play out a two-on-two -two situation before where they were spread. Snappy's going to get info here through another fade of the smoke, and that's three separate bodies that they have pushed through that monster smoke this round, or at least tried to. Interesting angle Sphinx has gone for. Like, he could be anywhere, right? Optimus is common, type right is common. In the long corner, especially. And uh, is he susceptible to flashes? Perhaps that's one of the leading causes. And a chance, a big one! Spinks takes them both down! Will he expect a third? Looking for Device and Spinks! And two AKs, couple of upgraded pistols and light on the util here. If they want to continue this rally of rounds, they will need to convert this one, and that's not the start Rez was looking for. Gobbles up a nade. They can continue their slow crawl over towards A. This is very A heavy, right? Two and connect and nobody wards backyard, and Dihas found that info out successfully this time. Yeah, it's make or break at this point. It forens his recovery to that 6-6. Six, six. You can't let something like this slip away and make no mistake, NIP more than capable demonstrating that in the second round alone. Two AKs was all it took. They know this is going to be an A play right now, Ents, right? Diha, he's pushed all the way through towards T-spawn. So he's closing the door behind them. He's secured all that information and Ents have been able to rotate four players over towards A. The only way back is down through connector and right now, NIP, they're not even holding onto that piece of real estate. Ooh. Oh, no, that really is a lot of information. Bomb carrier down, and there goes one of the AKs. Device is the Kev for this, and the frag. 
Losing the dog tag of Hampus, and down goes Deha as well. This one's already got a little more messy than they were ready for. Snappy, believe it or not, looking for info. He gets more than he bargained for as he chips further away at Device's health pool, but two on two. And a bit of a race now taking shape. Plopsky's got his runners on. Actually, as I say that, hits his walk as he looks to rejoin with the pack. Might see a weapon swapped out here. There's a law that dictates. But Plopsky may use that timing he has just as being ahead of Device to try and take that space initially. Good util as well here. Smoke and a Molotov to work with right now. So they should get onto the bomb site. Starting to rotate over his Dodo. The time has hit that point and the sound cue's given it away. Smoke's up, Molly towards the pit. And they will be plenty. But now it's just Plopsky with the MP9. Oh, yeah. Bullets are shy. Device down. And Plopsky, unideal weapon for the job. He wants them to get close, let that gap close. But actively contesting heaven, at least it gives him the information that this fight's likely graffiti. Util and Hades. Plopsky wants to fight, wants to brawl. They're crawling in, though, and... Oh, catches a leg, catches a frag. It's up to Hades. The AWP is up to the task. Ends. Yeah, and I've seen some really lovely little Flash XX. You remember we just cut the three CTs with white screens? That's the NIP. And this is it. This is literally what I'm talking about. These flashes, it's very hard to have a position, whether it's pillar, barrels, or water, where you actually can actively contest the pressure from short without eating devices' flashes. Someone has to just sit looking at the floor here. Yeah. Here they come. Look at this. Doto, blind as a bat. Deha, desperate, down already. Doto can't quite contribute the second at Snappy that's arrived on the scene exactly when he needed to. 10 HP on Hampus. It looks okay, but he and runs out of bullets, dies with his knife in his hands. Thinks again. Has he got another clutch in him? Oh, on the open plant. But now Hampus caught out the smoke. Suspects it will be short. Timing's everything. Devices cheeking in. He's tucked He's under. Sneaking in. In the blind spot. Sphinx can't adjust. Just the tip of the head. And maybe even on the jump there, Sphinx could have caught the position of Device even while crouched. Oof. So here we go. It is going to be the force by back. And Device has found the opener this time round. Dihar dead. Five on four establishes here. And you can see Ents, they're desperate. Their buy is looking... Woeful at best. You're putting a lot of faith in that M4, aren't you? Well, yeah, and welcome to the Hampus show. Something that he has been getting away with, which is often considered a bit vintage Counter-Strike. He is taking a whole massive gamble. And look how much space. At 1 minute 13, he's answered all the questions NIP may have had. They've traded places, though, right? So Sphinx pushed all the way up here. If they come through Connector, it's OK. They won't have to worry about Sphinx's position. But because he's this far forward, is Hampus going to call the, tro the troops over? Is he going to go for a Tarek maneuver here? Looks like the Tarek is on the play, but will it be a Stewie variation? Let's find <laughs> out. Find out. Oh, around the long way. Not going to risk it from heaven. He may even go for a knife kill here. Why wouldn't you? Get some extra cash. Just for the BM early. You would definitely, like, you're going to establish who else is on the side. Oh, just get the knife. There you go. We're here. Hello and goodbye. Spotted out Snappy in the water. Surging forward. Dota would need to be hitting some much more precise headshots than those. Just chips away at the Kevlar. It's a quick flank, but uh, 1v5. I don't know about this. That's nice. LNZ. The woes here on their CT side, so NIP are in full control of their own fate. Nine should be a guarantee, and then ten seeming likely, because NIP can pull out one of those gimmicky plays where they just use all those flashes again to get themselves in towards B. Device might be able to uh, pad his stats here in a second. That's a nice flash, but not going to do a lot. He jumps on back, and he'll take a more passive scenario here as they are looking for him. That information has spurted NIP in towards the B bomb site. Plopsky getting it down, and Res and Hampers have already started to work on over towards CT spawn. He is coming and sticks around to take that first pot shot. And wow, device. Yeah, he is not threatened at all by these USBs. <laughs> Look where Hampers is. <laughs> Hampers has already pushed all the way through CT spawn, now coming around behind them, connect up from A. Oh, a lovely padding of the stats. He can't quite convert the aces or idle on the not floor. Saving He's man. not saving that. He'd have to work incredibly hard. And that is an unfortunate twist of fate. The no-scope tags him. Money's light for this final round of our first half of our first map of this best of five. Yeah, and the double orbs were a pretty big factor so far for Ents in this one. Device taking a chunk of damage through the molly. And even more so as he peers on forward. So not afraid of the flames. Actively wants to contest. Oh, Dia was great in the early stages. Can he handle this again? Hampus is really quick on this. And 
just as he looks away. Hampus threads the needle. Doto does deliver. Two from him. Lights open. No bomb. And so this could get weird still. Device has been scouted out and the flank is coming in. Spinks should have his number. Oh, has an idea here, Device. Oh my god. How's he still alive? I Two of no them idea. are dealing with him here. They can get the bomb down on B, but no one's got back to grab it just yet. Device is just getting the kills. How is he not dead yet? And they know they lost the B site, so they're looking for answers. Hades, an interesting decision he's made. The bomb has been picked up in the meantime. Plopski just about resolving that. A device can come late now as well. So Snappy hasn't found him. Hades is here, calling it crisis time now. And here comes Device still. Oh, good timing, but it will... Have to be quick, they have to be quick. Four ...where they know he's detached from the pack. And there's Hades with the first. Plopski spotted, and he, he continued and didn't buck that trend. We do see Snappy equipped with some Util 4 Kevlar vests. Let's see if Ents can start with another pistol. Will they get both? Pretty quick over towards A here, just one man of device. Of course he's got the flexi pistol and already knocking off heads. Two will do. Delivers, and he was so isolated. He's not only got the info, he's handed them an advantage. Doto's looking to try and catch and punish NIP's reaction here, and he will get space on B, so it's gonna be a question a of space. how they get themselves to join him. Now, Rez here is going to catch the tail end of the pack. Right? They are going to come on through his line of sight, but you're right about Doto. If he continues to push up forward here, he can cut off the rotations through CT spawn. Here comes a Heaven Smoke from Snappy, and that is going to start forcing that rotation back over. So Rez isn't going to be able to kill them. No, and Doto unaccounted for one tiny tap onto the toes, but they're in, and Doto's tucked in. Shock is an issue, but the plant's safe from it. Good plant. He her taking a fight. Joint engagement, no one down. Retake taking shape. LNZ with a kit. They can take their time for these engagements. That's one. Gooshed on up. Rez operating with a pretty mean limp, mad eye pushing. moody style. Doto going round the world. And Diha, oh, some chances. The flank's coming in. About to lock it in. Him, yeah, yeah. it looks great. He needs to strike and he does. Puts the kit on the floor. A time sensitive mission for the very low HP of Rez. They've played it to perfection. What a conversion, despite the double from Device, again, Ents leave. And that's both pistols now in the bag. Yeah, Rez here might even go down with the bomb, trying to get away. Dodo gets the kill, it doesn't even matter. And Dodo's born. Sorry about that. I pressed the wrong button. You did both of us at the same time. I did. Courtesy, really. But, Silence uh, for everybody. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what the button we, everyone wishes we were pressing. We saw this the other day, right, out of Hampus. Now, uh, it's a difficult thing to bring to great success. A flashed up device gives away the fact he has the scout, and they've already taken a lot of space. So the repeat, ooh, he ooh. should probably stop hanging around about now. <laughs> Look at the damage he's inflicting. He's still sticking around, Chad. He wants more. He could put one through the tree trunk. He's about to be swung upon. He's Look dead. at Ence's health. God almighty. There's just a single player without blood soaking in his Ents jersey. Still, Spink stands to deliver. All the damage is for naught here. Well, I'm not ready to write them out just yet, Chad. HE, Deagle, prime target. And down goes Spinx. That's a start from Hampus, and now looking to play some mind games on the relocation. They're cutting noise. And I, I imagine not only cutting noise, but also a bit sketched out. Thing is, right now, NIP don't have any information, so they've backpedaled over towards the B bomb site, whereas Doto, the highest HP member, has regrouped with the crew over towards Long, and they're in the blind spot, even if there was an NIP player on top of the bomb site here, going for a little bit of a look. And as they hear this utility hit the deck of the A bomb site, NIP know they've gambled incorrectly. Hampus and LNZ. Snake eyes. So they want to get in for this because Snappy. I have the back here. He does, but needs to connect the shot. Hampus has taken one and can't turn around to control onto Snappy there. So it is just LNZ. Three HP, that one. That could have been an easy lad. reaction shot. And well, LNZ, not today. For HE grenades for Plopsky, Rez, and Device. Why not take a pot shot? Had the spawn. Throws one down towards the playground. No one's down, but a little bit of damage inflicted. Hades, just with a grazed elbow. If Hampus can be really jarring here, his job is to just keep them at bay. Make sure that they go towards that B bomb site where the stack is right now and those three nades. So if he can get a kill, if he can continue to show this deagle across the map, there you go again. So just being 
called Pesky right now. As Snappy's found out one or two, Dota with some more information. The nades, oh, they don't find a lot right there. And now that Hampus has fallen, so should the round. Still plenty of time on the clock. And again, there's two players from Ents, which have, well, make that three players from Ents that have taken a huge chunk of damage. Hoping if it is late, one of those three are not the ones planting the bomb because Plopsky, he held strong. He kept that 30, uh, sorry, $300 HE. $30, that'd be cheap. Yeah, that'd be a bargain bucket HE. How coming out of the bomb is long again? Yeah, there's a universe where this gets a bit more uncomfortable for them because at 30 seconds the commit has to come in and so do the frags. And there's Device proving our point. Can he get anything else done? Plopsky has thrown his nade out a little premature. 20, 20 seconds. seconds. They are still trying to break through. Good use of their util, good patience and restraint, and there it is. Things Now, they've got a couple of Mac 10s They have an AWP, two AKs. You might see something a little bit quicker here. That's going to be the Heaven Smoke from Snappy. Fast towards B and LNZ, and they get to Dink. Not today. Sphinx has come to play. Takes the space, confirms where device does lie. They're playing well around the barrels. Oh, not for long. Plopsky both falls alongside with Hampus. Device is repositioned now noted, and Rez throws off one single pot shot. Oh, Doto's jump costs him his life, and then... Device here playing around that heaven position with the AWP. And there's our Robs team just highlighting some of those drop smoke grenades for the CTs. Now, Plopsky's just going to have a CZ in his hands here. On the other side, Hades only has a Deagle, so both teams with four rifles and one pistol. An important round to play here. Whoever wins this one can start skyrocketing themselves towards that 15. Molotov towards the barrels, and again, Device features in that kill feed, opening up onto Deha. Good to see him up to his winning ways. Feeling himself, isn't he? He is. Just able to go for those picks. We've seen it earlier in the tournament as well, on the T side with the AWP, where he's just gone out on his own to manufacture openings for this team when the chips are down. An uncomfortable position for Hades. Uh, he has the bomb, so I don't yeah. love the fact he's on his own, especially with Rez pushing long here. So he will get away, unknowing exactly what was just on the other side there. And they've turned their attention towards B. Rez confirms that it is looking pretty clear over towards A. The B defenders of NIP batten down the hatches. Plopsky, LNZ, and Hampus, and devices on the way. Doesn't get deeper than that for a monster smoke. And at the 30-second mark... They're going to have, what, 20 to work through into the site, but this time up against four M4, excuse me, three. Comes the nose flash. Yeah, nice one for Linus, though. Does drop his incendiary, so rotting more time off. They the just clock. save. I think they should. They, they, they got to back on out here. You don't want to give away all these rifles. Oh, and the punishment does strike again. They can't fully escape. Snappy will at least punish another in no time for this, so the save completes. Hampus might even push here. Look how close he is. I know they don't have a lot of cash, device. but... Yeah, no, not interested. Okay. Oh, they should get one of the individuals on the kit. They will. Device grabs. It's making this look great for Ents. And away we go. Standard stuff from them. Short molly. Hades going to extinguish one. And that allows the A presence to be noted. Now you see this, that they're setting up a long. We probably won't see it come into play, but not a whole lot going on this default. So Device can take this peak and then see where Rez is. What will happen is Device will take that shot. He'll drop off and then he'll get on Rez's head. And he'll also have an elevated peak over the oh, top. Oh, gross. Yeah, so you get a second. And, and then you still have time to drop back. You're swinging for that trade on the AWPA. You're immediately pre-aiming that drop off. You're like, okay, he's not there. You're looking at the tight wall for the exactly. re-peak. And yeah, you were sitting duck in his deployment spot. Yeah, so that's a nice little maneuver. Now, it's cool. didn't happen, but uh, you guys see the idea, right? There's always contingency set up. We don't always get to note it because they're preparing. And that's why you see them so active on the CT side. Okay, is this coming? Okay, the time has got, gone past. They could have pushed bathrooms. Let's move around. And they are coming long. Yeah, but device is long gone. Obviously, there's a timer on that absence of toilet info. So he has to acknowledge that. Snappy, a smoke for the site. Two smokes from this Two position. Two smokes. So that's for bridge and site. That will be... That, this is going to feel like a full commit, especially if Dota gets anything on this. Oh, and he does. Ahead of the flash. A second spotted. NIP are going to be hitting the panic button on this site. It's so threatening. Rez got two over towards A. Yeah, so they're going to try and pivot. It is actually going to become what the B fake will be. The B commits. And another timing window. He just about gets through. Dota damage. That's like a lovely double. 
And now Snappy piecing this one together again with Deha. 20 seconds. Yeah, you're right. They do have to go B right now. It's all on Hampus. Device will arrive in heaven in time, at least to contribute if they go wide. Oh, they may not need help. Okay, a one-on-one -on -one established. He knows it's Device, he knows it's an all-per, and that is... The inflection in the voice can sometimes be enough to sell it. So staying calm, and now more than ever, calling what you see is very important. And that was something Yanka was talking about on the desk. I'll bite my tongue for a second to see if Hades can impress an M4, a headshot. Some space to be taken. Sphinx, ooh. Aware of Device's position, he's trying to pip a gap, and yeah, caught out by Hampus. But as Yanka was saying on the desk, he was just talking a little bit about how Device has made it clear that he's been able to bring that experience, his wealth of experience, at the very top of the... But one of the things I want to note here, and maybe the desk can touch on it, Yanko would be perfect, when it seems like NIP have come today ready for heads-up Counter-Strike, knowing about these gnarly pushes and the way that ends like to approach the game, because very rarely have we seen NIP get caught off guard by those pushes. They've either been coming out in equal trades or they've looked ready for it and just lost the fight. And I think that's been a contributing factor here at 14, but look at this. This is so ballsy, and they drop in for a double. Snappy just puts his head on the chopping block and says, me next. Yeah, that is looking great for 15. Now, warning shot, fired on out. Device knows that he is being surrounded here. It is up to Deha over towards Fountain. Oh, Device flashed away. He's actually going to get out of dodge. Teamwork. Yeah. Oh. oh. Deha still finds him. That is a lovely shot right there. Should have uh, thanked his lucky stars and gone all the way back to the site there, Device. They still have the number advantage. Connector was a problem. And you can see they're on high alert. Who's down there? We don't know. There's no information to work with. So that's going to be in the back of their heads here as they try and re-piece this round back together. But looking like 15 now for NIP. Yeah, and Aplopsky often thriving in this angle. We used to see him absolutely slay with the org. He could be more susceptible to an RP fight if that M4 doesn't find the head swiftly. There's a smoke at the perfect time. We've seen this one before. The yeah. script's playing out similarly. Really I mean, rough now. Iha would have to do something magical. Rez is already considering that the party position is clear. Underpass becoming a priority for him. And Well, this is going to have to be the go. Plopsky, oh, he completely turns the flash just ahead of it. Strikes for the first. Hades is quick on the draw. And pushing 10 seconds, two frags required. He can't get anything done and neither can Hades. This uh, Blast Showdown coming up on the 12th of October. Now NIP, they don't have to play in that event. Uh, they've already qualified themselves for uh, the next stage of that. So for them, once they you know, show this epic performance, they just get to sit and wait until the major here. So that's exciting that if we leave on this note, of this level of NIP going into the first Swedish major since 2014. The storylines are really coming together and they're already in that legend stage. Oh, and then you just throw in the spice of his old team standing between him oh. on the home soil. Just imagine. Sphinx and Hampus duking it out. It's Plopsky that does deliver two on that short pipe. There's nothing really left for them. Oh, bleak. Yeah, caught Hampus just holding the nerve and holding the line. It is just up to a low HP on Snappy. Otherwise, this is going to be a very quick overpass. It's round 24, looking to be the final one of play. This will be some clutch here from Snappy. Time is the only positive thing he has right now, and I'm sure he wishes he didn't. Well, the fights are all going to come around this corner. Oh, he's just going to get caught on the walkthrough. Oh, okay, he's caught Hampus, and there's two fights. Need headshots and... Good damage, that'll do though, at six.